engineering management and systems engineering work together to look at the bigger picture. And by understanding its smaller parts of that system, we can see a better outcome of the system as a whole. How can we take all these different parts of the engineering world that we're dealing with, how can we fit them together to work correctly, to work better, and how can we make people's lives better? Individuals and engineers really of the future need to be able to look at complex systems, analyze them, and then make strategic decisions. Engineering management and systems engineering degrees do that for individuals. One of the things that we are very proud of at Missouri University of Science and Technology is that we are the first engineering management department in the world. We are coming up, and very proudly so, of our 50th anniversary of engineering management as a discipline and as a department. Engineering management and systems engineering collectively allow individuals to have a focus not only in technology, but also in the human side of the equation or the system side of the equation. Engineering management at Missouri s and is a versatile degree. It is not focused on one sector, on one type of job. We probably have the broadest penetration within industry from consulting, basic manufacturing, traditional manufacturing, technical sales, you name it, they can be employed in it. We provide students with a background where they understand a diverse set of this engineering knowledge and they can integrate these pieces together and we provide the students with a tool set to where they can work with engineering teams to approach and hopefully solve these problems in a quick, efficient manner. At Missouri S&T, we have a focus on a number of signature research areas. Supply chain fits within all of these four. Once you have a disaster, goods and services are disrupted. Supply chain restoration allows us to consider how to quickly restore those systems to normalcy. The primary focus of my work has been studying maritime transportation systems and understanding how maritime transportation systems affect directly the environment near port areas. I've had the opportunity to work for two funded projects one by the Department of Transportation and another one by the United States Geological Survey. And that has given me the opportunity to be exposed to real world problems and to experts in the field. One of the things that we are very fortunate to have access to at Missouri S&T is a driving simulator. It allows you to investigate improving safety and usability of our highway systems without putting drivers at risk. We are analyzing the collected data so we can see if there's a pattern uh, when we compare the driving patterns of the same person for different scenarios. Citizens are learning software skills, they are improving their software skills, they are learning design of experiments, they are learning data analysis, they are learning every step in a project. We are always looking for faculty who understand that robust solutions come from a variety of disciplines and diverse thought and opinions. When I started my career, I went uh, to work directly out of my undergraduate to work for the Boeing company. That experience has uh, given me a different perspective on projects and types of projects and the type of work that the students would actually see when they get out. They're not just learning about something in the classroom, they're learning about something in the classroom and then they apply that to a real situation. One of the things that we're very proud of within EMSE and also at Missouri s and is that we have a dedicated group who bring distance learning to our students. With the technology that we have at Missouri s and I have students that are in Africa, in Asia, Australia. Any student anywhere can be watching the classes, participate actually live in the classes as well, sitting from the comfort of their own home. With our projects, the project-based learning that we use, we use students that are on campus and we partner them with students that are working in industry. So that cross-sharing of ideas and learning how to work with individuals in industry really helps solidify those concepts. And it also prepares the traditional students for working in industry. One of the things that is incredibly important to us at EMSE 
is that we are training the next generation of engineers. All of our research projects include graduate students and some will include undergraduate researchers as well. We do have a very comprehensive funding package available, particularly for those who are interested in the PhD. Working with the Boeing Company, Lockheed Martin, other industry, and including that into the work that we do with, say, government agencies such as Department of Energy National Science Foundation, gives us a broad portfolio of different research projects and different aspects and problems being solved. It also shows them that they need to take uh, ownership and they are part of society and they need to make contributions to that outside of just their work. We are tremendously excited about our upcoming 50th anniversary. October 2016, we are pulling out all the stops. We have continued to grow and change in terms of how we offer our courses, the way that we conduct our research. Engineering management will continue to be relevant, not only for the next 50 years, but for 50 years and beyond, and another 50 and another 50.